What's up, everybody? It's Sparrow with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on No Man's Sky. Uh, when we left off in the last episode, we actually did some modifications to the main living area, I guess you could call it, right here. Planted our Chorizogen plants, which I need to go harvest, and then also connected our somewhat partially disconnected new biodome. Uh, which I have yet to actually fill up with anything, but I'll probably put like one of every other different kind of plant just so I have a resource area going. The one that I'm kind of sad about is I don't think there's a plant for Rygogen, which kind of sucks because I really could have used that one. So I have a couple of things I want to work on in this episode. Uh, the first actually being, let's go check out... Uh, I want to see if there actually is any Rygogen on this planet. Uh, there's some water over there. That should work. So, for those of you that may not know, I'm pretty sure everybody already knows by this point because I've already done a bunch of... I think there was, there was a long stretch there where I was looking for Rygogen pretty regularly. Um, but it's usually found in water. But this looks like it might be barren water. At least this area. I was hoping, since we had water, there would be some uh, live plants and whatnot. Can I scan these? Ever? Really? Seriously? I was gonna say, scan something. There's like a million of them. Now there's some plants, but that's kind of in... It's not really land or water plants, that's just kind of more... Yeah, so I'm thinking, unless there's some different areas, I don't think we have any Rygogen on this planet, which kind of sucks. I was hoping that we would. But, oh well. You can't have everything on a planet, right? Uh, but that's a really useful resource to have for various different um, blueprints and such. So, a little disappointed in that, but not too much. I mean, it kind of, kind of semi-expected. I really wasn't thinking there would be, because it's this isn't actually the uh, correct biome. I don't think like it's predominantly found in high water planets. So, this even though it has water, this is still mainly an ice planet type of thing. So. Uh, extreme every time temperature detected. Um, so anyways, that was one thing I wanted to check just to see kind of where we stood with that. That was a complete waste of a jetpack. That was even more of a waste of a jetpack. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to try something with uh, what's his name? Polo. That it seems, every time I've left this planet, that the space anomaly is still out there, and once I go up there and talk to them, they they give me one more thing. But, it's usually like one thing, and then you'd have to leave and come back. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to try and see if I can kind of trick the game by going to the space anomaly, talking to Polo, getting in the ship, getting back out to save it, then quitting, reloading and then basically trying to do it again and see if it takes it as a separate instance. Or if that doesn't work, just leave and then come back. Like, turn right around and come back in and see if that works. I'm not entirely positive on how the mechanics work for that, so we won't know until we try. So my first step is to go up to the space station because that way I can launch without using any fuel, and I can sell all this lubricant that I'm gonna make from all this Mordite and make some more money. I may actually grab my uh, nanite clusters as well, just to see if I can if I can actually buy anything. I think everything's too expensive for what I have, but I'm not sure. So let me do that, and I will be right back. All right, so here I am at the station. I already unloaded my um, lubricant at the trade network and got some credits. I think I might actually just buy a couple of these just to see if I can refresh the inventory since I have enough of these nanite clusters to do those two, but not anything else. 
I don't know if it'll, tra if it'll change anything right now. It doesn't look like it. Or if I have to raise my... Um, I don't know if I have to raise my rep with them to get them to open new ones. I think we already discussed that, and I think the thing that everybody kept telling me was you'll see them and they'll say you don't have enough reputation to buy them, but I don't think it actually changes the inventory, but he hasn't changed his inventory since I moved to this system. So I don't know if I have to actually, like, leave the system and come back or something in order for it to actually trigger or what. But he... Well, and that's why I figured I'd try and buy some stuff and see if that actually triggers a transition or not. So I'm gonna warp on over here. Oh, that was actually really fast. Okay, and let's go visit Polo and Nada. Though I have to admit, Nada... I'm not really sure what she's doing, or, or it. I'm not really sure what they are. Um, but every time I keep asking for resources, she seems to keep giving me the same thing. So I'm not sure if I have to say, like, you know, resume the path or whatever, but I'm afraid if I do that, they're going to move. So I'm just going to stay working with Polo here for a minute. What do you got for me, buddy? Transmit language words collected level 7 or above. Yepers, we can do that. Well, it pretends not to notice and with a brazen wink rewards me with a new schematic. Ah! Warp reactor tau. There we go. Warp core output capped of to avoid certain core meltdown uncontained thumbing blah blah blah. Uh, where does it say user's craft will become able to leap deeper into space and into more... Okay, so it doesn't really tell me there. Aluminum and nickel. Well, that's what we've been looking for. According to the guide, though, or the wiki that I read, I should be able to go all the way up to the... the except the last two rewards that he has available for him. Now, if she gives me some kind of toxin or radioactive or whatever... Guard... Yep, okay. So that's basically just giving me the same thing over and over and over again. Probably because they haven't moved on, but like I said, I'd kind of like to test this theory and see if I can just sit here and reload it. So we're going to try that real quick, and we'll see what happens. Alrighty, so here we are back again. Like I said, I just basically dropped out and reloaded, so let's see if Polo will talk to me again. Because if he will, we can run through... Dang, damn it! He won't do it. The game is too smart. Alright, so... I don't know how it's gauging it then. Because, unless it's comparing, like, the date and time stamp on, like, when you were last here, you know, or distance, how far away you traveled from the place or something, I don't know. What we're gonna do, though... That's just so cool. I love it. I found my white and blue planet. I'm so happy about this. All right, so what I'm going to do now is basically fly back. Uh, because luckily it doesn't take any fuel to launch from a um, station. So we just keep doing this all, all day long. Um, one thing that I'm curious about is I'm wondering now I wonder if there's any planets in my system here that are capable of, ha of uh, producing hydrogen. Because if I, if there is one, hmm. actually, you know what? I just thought about this. I renamed my planet, but it, do they give you the option? Oh, they do give you the option to rename the system. I just didn't. I just decided not to, I guess, because I didn't really know what I wanted to name it. What, what is this? On, Onya something? That's that's gonna bother me now. Onya... Teslad? Teslad? Onya Teslad 3? We'll go with that. That's my system, that's how I'm pronouncing it, Dagnabbit. Nothing? Seriously? Huh. Hmm. Well, good news and bad news. I mean, obviously the bad news is we can't really seem to get him to talk to us. 
But the good news is that we got our warp reactor, which is what we've been looking for to finish the... Hey, you know what? I just realized I haven't finished the, um... What is it? The, uh, agricultural guy. His quest. I haven't finished it, finished it so maybe there is a Rygogen thing out there. So... There. Okay, I'll stop. Um, I am very curious about what constitutes a visit to Polo and the Anomaly Place, though. Like, do you have to stay logged out for 24 hours or something? Or how does that work? Because I looked up on the wiki and it lists all the rewards and requirements, and I think other than the last two, I should be able to get them all. I didn't remember what all they were. But I know that's how you get, like, your Atlas Pass version 2 and 3 and stuff. Or at least that's one way to get it. Um, the third one... The last two... That's the only ones I can remember, though. It's something like the, the first one... Or the second to last, you have to have reached the maximum warp type thing. Um, which I think I'm on 9, and I need to warp 10 more times in order to get it to work. Or to rank up. And then the last... Or no, is that the last one? I don't remember. One of them is that, and one of them is the zoologist one. Where you have to have maxed out scanning a bunch of planets. And I don't have even the first one to that. Actually, I'm working on mine, but even that's not going very well. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to jump back and compare... Whoa. Pay no attention to that scene behind the curtain. Um, hello? Any day now. There you go. Okay. Alright, so let's check. What do I need for... Okay, got it. Go away. Um, ship. Ship, ship, ship. Where? Okay, this can go over here, because I want the warp reactors to be right here next to the hyperdrive. Um, actually, this is in a really bad spot, by the way, uh, because um, you can't really upgrade anything there. All of these, actually, are in really bad locations. Except for this one. This one could work. Like, you could do your pulse jets here, your shields here. Um, I'm kind of doomed other than one upgrade to mess with the photon cannon properly. Uh, you could put something standalone there, and then you could do your warp ones here, and then the rest of this could be, like, weapons or something, but the way this is currently laid out is really not good. Okay, uh, what do we have here? Warp Reactor Tau, Warp Reactor Sigma, 200 light year range, 400 light year range. So I need 600 nickel, 800 aluminum, and two of the dynamic resonators. Uh, I know I have one dynamic resonator? Alright, 200... I think I have the 200 nickel there, right? Or wait, is it... Old? Ah! Numbers! Math! Nickel is 600, aluminum is 8. Okay, so I have neither of either. Or I have not enough of either. Um, so that's something we'll need to look into. Now that we've kind of moved up in the world and we're back on track with that. I am still very curious about the whole... Um, where's, my, where's that resonator? I know I have one somewhere. After redoing my inventory and they're all still blue. There's one. They're all still blue, so I can't ever find anything now. Uh, craft. How do I make one of those? Because I know I can make a, a dynamic resonator. Ant two antimatter, chrysonite, and four microdensity fabric. Actually, I think the chrysonite's going to be the problem on that one. I don't know if I have enough of that. 184. What did I say it was? 100? I think. 100. Okay. So we could make that... So we could make a second dynamic resonator. The problem is going to be aluminum and... Uh, a 
aluminum and nickel. That's going to be the issue. And I know it sounds weird, but I'm... I'm ooh, is my, is my cryogen open yet? Aha! It is! Success. Um, I'm kind of tempted, actually, to... Uh, go back up to the station. Just because it, it doesn't require me to lose, like, 25% of my thrusters. Is work back up to the station, then leave and come back. Or go to a different planet, maybe, if I don't have aluminum and nickel here. Um... And maybe while I'm... Okay, so here's what I'm probably going to do. I'm probably going to warp back up, because this is no doubt ready. It is. So we're going to go ahead, warp back up to the station, sell some more stuff, check the nanite store, see if they've updated their inventory, um, make our way over to Polo again, just to see if now that I've gone back to my planet and stuff, if that counts. And then, if none of that works... We'll try and find a planet with aluminum and... What was the other one? Nickel. And see, even if it's our own planet here, it's fine. And we'll try and work on that. Now, granted, I'm not going to do all of that on camera, unless actually some of it works. But going to the station, going to polos, all that, I'll probably keep under wraps or off camera until one of those actually works or we have new inventory or something like that. If I don't, then I'll just show up back here. Also... I may, since I've got enough Chorizogen, I may come back and, and work on building a little bit more, actually. That might be a little bit more interesting than mining. Um, and I'm also looking for what are you guys' suggestions on if we happen to need um, the aluminum and nickel, which we do. Even if I find it, what's the best way to go about mining it? Should I work with the... Should I go through the effort of making auto miners, or should I just mine it, or what would you guys recommend? So let me work back up to the station and see what we can get done. Alrighty, so I went ahead and landed on this planet. Plentiful resource, likely elevated strain on life support system. Oh, that's not good. Um, so the nanite store hadn't updated, and neither did Polo. So, I went ahead and came here because actually my planet, Sleepless Alpha Prime, as well as this one, I didn't check any other ones in the system, actually, but all of uh, these two, both of these two, have aluminum and nickel on them somewhere, wherever they may be. Um, I stopped here because I saw this blue and thought maybe this was something. Is this something or is this just blue? I think that's just blue, because it normally will come up with, uh... Hmm. It'll normally come up with a hologram type thing, if that's a thing. It doesn't appear that this is a thing. What is that? Are you a thing? That looks like a thing. Oh, and of all things... This is a thing. <laughs> of all things. This is Nickel. Now if I just were to do that... I only got two. That's no fun. So... What did I need? 600 Nickel? <laughs> I have a feeling I'm gonna be here a while. But... Um, so if this is Nickel, though, I'll need to find out... I wonder if this is... Can this be aluminum? Maybe? Because that would just be... Convenient. But it's not. Of course. There's thomium over there. There's some plutonium over this way we might want to pick up for... Our ship. Because we're going to have to leave a lot. Or, I mean, fly around a lot. Uh, so yeah, I may do some mining real quick, because this isn't going too bad. So, I may do some mining, and then maybe... I, I doubt I'll get everything that I need, I'll, I'll be honest. So that's this, this is probably going to take me a minute to get 600 uh, nickel. Though I do have like 300 back at the base, so... I wouldn't need a, a crap load, but I doubt I'll get everything that I need in order to make our warp reactor in this episode. So we'll probably finish up with a few minutes of base building at the end here. 
after I get tired and sick to death of mining. Okay, so believe it or not, I actually managed to get everything that I think I need at this point to make the reactor thing. So I went ahead and made two antimatters. I've got the four microdensity fabrics, and then we should... I forget what the other... Oh, chrysonite, which is 100, so we're going to make another one of these dynamic resonators. Um, now, if I were to place... What do we have? Two dynamic resonators, 600 nickel, 600... Or 800 aluminum, and we can make the warp reactor tau. So with that... Oh! I managed to not sell one of the lubricants. Okay. Wow, that took a lot of my resources out of that, though. I thought I'd have a little bit extra left over from that. So we only have 86. Well, I guess I do still have quite a bit of aluminum off after that, but... Um, so yeah, we finally got our warp reactor that we've been looking for. Which means we should be able, in theory, to do... Um, to go to the green stars. Where's my log? Uh, oh, that's Exo. Wait, where's the... Hold up. Uh, let me save this too, because I want to make sure I save that. Um, no, I had a mission from the agricultural guy, though. Maybe because I, like, kept dismantling and replacing him. My farmer's interest in fauna grows. They have presented me with a sample of viva, viva lava, a strange living rock that grows in extreme heat. I am charged with fetching a mineral called viridium to feed its delicate root systems. Okay, so here it is. The viridium I need is found only within mineral deposits found in the terrain of green star systems. So I need 50 of that. I don't know why that's not... <laughs> so funny. <laughs> I don't know why that didn't show up in my log, though. Oh, it was down here under the tasks. Okay, so why is this up here, then? Weird. Uh, can I, like, assign this? No? Oh, I see. Okay, so you can mark different things. I don't know why it's still showing me the vehicle thing, because I have... Craft terminal. Yeah, I don't know why it's telling me to do that. Um, glass. What else did I need for the cuboid rooms? Glass. You need carite sheets and glass. Okay. And I have two more of those to replace. I think I have enough um, chorizogen. Actually, I had to take a call in between there, and I stood here. Yeah, I was gonna say that it's probably already regrown again. So I basically need a bunch of this and iron to make the cube glass room, and we'll finish that off. I don't know how these sentinels keep getting in my house. They keep ending up everywhere. Okay. Alrighty, so now let me grab some iron, which should be, oh gosh, if my memory's right, this one. Aha! I'm getting there. Uh, carite sheets aren't that much. Let's just grab a couple like that. That should do. Uh, and I could grab, grab more of the chorizogen, but I'm not really worried about it. Ooh, come on. Okay. So, let's get rid of that. And then... Wait, is that placing it up above? Or is that placing it... No, it's placing it there. Okay. Um, let me make sure color is set to the right color. Because I think that matters when you're placing things. Okay, and I'll need to replace the floor. Nope. Delete. Okay. And then place that. Floor, 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 and floor. Perfect. All right, so we have completed our basically glass room, which is cool. Um, and like I said before, I could do, 
you know, uh, we can't do glass walls, but I could do walls here and there to kind of subdivide the rooms a bit and make them more like office spaces kind of thing. But I don't really feel the need, because I feel like that would just pointlessly enclose the rooms and, and kind of take away from the open spectacle of the big glass, uh, having a big glass chamber kind of thing. But we totally could. Um, I mean, it's really not that difficult with iron and stuff like it is. You could actually do... I feel like if I did it this way, it would be kind of cramped. Oh wait, why is it not even letting me? Oh, not enough resources. I don't have heridium to do the door. I was like, wait a minute, that's a right, that's a good spot. So yeah, uh, so the glass is done, which is cool. And we finally got our warp reactor. I did read on the wiki somewhere that I think the um, space anomaly spawns every two hours, but supposedly you're, su you're, you're supposed to have to leave the system, like warp away, and then when you come back or something, if you've been away, I don't think you have to stay away for two hours, but it's like if you warp away and come back or keep going or whatever, it, it kind of pops up. So I think what's happening is when I stay out here long enough, it's not actually here, but because I haven't left the system and it's been within the time frame when I log back in, then it's, then it's there again. So I'll have to test that theory at some point and actually like wait two hours and then come back and, and see if it spawns and if I can keep doing it. Because something keeps respawning it, because every time I log in I can just go back there and, and get more of the objectives. Now the cool part is when I looked on that list, it does say that is where you get your atlas passes from. So I can't get the three, because three requi re requires you to have a zoologist level of 10, and I don't even have a 2. So, yeah, Atlas Pass 3 is going to be a while, but the, the second phase is not that far away. It's actually one or two more from where we were, from where we got our, our warp core. So that's going to be cool. Next episode, we will probably take the ship and go looking for a green star system and see if we can't find Viridium and progress our agricultural guys a little bit further. Uh, we can also get the warp reactor Tau, uh, not Tau, uh, Theta, I think is the third. We can get that one, uh, wait, nope, I take that back. That is the last two, I think. The Atlas Pass 3 and the warp reactor Theta, I think, are the last two rewards. So I don't have those. I don't have that ability. Um, I don't know. Uh, Sigma gives you a red planet or red system, the Tau gives you green. I forget what the... I forget what the, um... Theta one does. Is that blue? Maybe it gives you blue star ability? Anyways, not right, neither here nor there. It's not something I can get at the moment. So, um, I think we're gonna wrap things up here for today. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace!